Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. My allergies are crazy flared up today and I'm just getting over a cold, so forgive me that my voice sounds like absolute garbage. This 40-foot RV behind me, I came up here. This is Alachua, Florida. It's about two hours north of where I live in Land Lakes. But um, anyway, I came here about three months ago and tried to take care of this RV. I ran out of time because it gets dark up here at five o'clock in the heart of winter. So it was like mid-December when I came up. It is now almost March. So I came up, I got it all clean. I put on basically a coat and a half of the brand new Jill Coat 180 product. This is the pro version from the new uh, Marine, the professional Marine series that I'm launching March 1st in just a couple of days. So uh, I got a coat and a half on and it was misting. It was very damp, very humid. It was pretty cold. It was about, I don't know, 55, 60 degrees when I did it. And so the product had a hard time curing fast enough where I could put a second coat on and uh, get rid of the streaks. So let me just show you what it looks like now. And all I'm gonna do literally now is a rinseless wa or a waterless wash on everything and then I'm gonna put another solid coat on this whole RV and call it a day. Because I didn't get it done, I came back here, but we've been waiting on a proper day to do it. And so today is supposed to be 82 degrees. You can see all the streaks from the product. It's got a good base. It just needs another solid coat. So I did all of this see if I can no, probably can't see because of the Sun but it's got some streaks and stuff <clears throat> all up there uh, once I get it clean I'm just gonna roll on another coat and it'll be done no big deal so we got to do both sides and I got to get some streaks off the back that side doesn't look that that bad definitely needs another thick coat you can see those stripes everywhere i gotta get that black streaking off the top but anyway just wanted to show you what it looks like and uh i will do a demo of the gel coat 180 uh with ceram acrylics from the pro marine line that i'm launching uh it's a really awesome way to not have to polish but to get all the gloss back pretty fast uh, I do have a prep scrub uh, and a prep soap so if the oxidation isn't bad like this wasn't bad so all I did was the prep soap and that will strip it and prime it for the coating application and that's already done like I said all I'm doing is putting another solid coat on top of the base that's there and it should be all uniform and glossy after I'm done so we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll bring you back and show you what's going on after we get rolling. All right guys, so we came back up to Alachua, Florida to finish up this RV that I started two and a half months ago and it is done now. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I used the new uh, Professional Marine Series um, Gel Coat 180 with Ceram Acrylics. Now there is the regular gel coat 180 in the marine series that's also a brand new product the difference between the two when you start looking at the the difference in the description the main difference is the pro version is ceramic acrylic so it's got the ceramic and the acrylic the consumer version is just acrylic they both work really really well but you can expect double the longevity out of the pro version so uh check this out I'm hoping I can find the original videos when I came down here or came up here to detail it the first time. How glossy. So today we just did a waterless wash and then literally just wiped it on. Wiped the product on. We put, what would you say we put on? Two coats today? Two full coats? 
So I put about a coat and a half on the first time I was here. And like I said, it was really um, misty out. It was like 55 to 60 degrees, which is kind of cold to use the product uh, outside. You kind of need the sun to help it to cure because it basically turns into a layer of plastic. Um, and you'll see what I mean when you get the product, but look at this gloss. Um, I did the cap last time and I put three coats uh, on the cap, so it looks good. Didn't even bother with that today, but look at this. Look at all this gloss. And that's a, I didn't polish at all. All I did was put on the uh, Jill Coat 180 product, uh, the professional one. I do see, I got a couple of streaks right there. I gotta come back over here and fix. Other than that, it looks good. Just in that spot right there. So I'll get that straight. Back looks awesome. The rest of it looks super awesome. So that's it guys. Um, while we were working on this, we picked up another customer and since it's only noon and we're done and we're two hours from home i'm gonna go straight over there where this guy is over around the corner knock that one out so check out that video which will probably be the next video i uh post uh but i'm very happy with how this turned out gel coat 180 and gel coat 180 pro two products one ceramic acrylics one's just acrylic um if you got questions for me 813-846-4406 but if you want to uh, quick how should i even say that it's not quick nothing's easy when you're detailing you will have to put out some elbow grease but compared to having to polish the whole rv and then put on some protection just cleaning it removing the oxidation with the uh, oxidation oxidation delete prep scrub or the prep shampoo um, for Infinity Auto, which will be the same prep shampoo that we will make for uh, Gel Coat 180 uh, because it works great and it primes and it allows the, uh, the product to bond inside the gel coat and harden in the pores uh, and then you build it out. So two to three coats is all you really need uh, for years of protection. And that's the reality. So. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. If you want to learn more about Jill Coat 180 and all of my new stuff for 2022, check out the group and check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. If you got questions for me, reach out. I can't help, help you if you don't. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.